Hello guys and welcome to another video. Um, today in this video, um, I will be discussing about NBA Live. Now I know it says sports edition. This is technically a sports edition. I am going to be doing a new series. So uh, yeah, let's get started about. NBA Live. Now, I think that there needs to be like, there has to be updates. Like, like right now, they have to make updates. But there are three reasons why. Um, there are three reasons why NBA Live Mobile should change. Number one. Number one is shooting fouls. Now, I know there are like charging fouls and then um, reaching fouls, and, but there should be shooting fouls. And um, I'm pretty sure you should can, cause then it gets you to the line and they should have like a, I don't really know, like, I guess you can say, I don't know, but, sorry, the controller is a little clicky. Okay, but shooting fouls, I mean, now, it kind of gets the game closer, like, or like further away if you're bad at shooting fouls, the computer will foul you. Or if you know that like you like who like you um DeAndre Jordan. If you probably foul him you might miss, but usually I mean this is two K so I mean you might not might not make your Right on this, so yeah. Um, so and then guys, comment down below if you think you sh we should have shooting fouls. So uh, here is one. Number two, shooting releases. Now, in NBA 2K, a green release will usually go in. If you have a set um, in NBA Live Mobile, a green will sometimes usually not go in. So that's what I think they should change, and I think they should change like the release form, like so it's like the 2K release, I guess. The release form. So, like, I mean, I guess they kind of should, but, um, I guess it's kind of good, it's kind of okay, but the perfect releases, they gotta go in, that's another update that they should have. I'm sorry, it's like blurry, probably like really blurry for you guys. But, yeah, I'm trying to, to um, fix it while the game is going on. I'm trying to fix it and play defense. So, yeah, I mean, I guess I can't really get the, um, the camera thing to work. But here is number one. Number one, clutch mo the clutch moment. Now, the clutch moments, um, the clutch moments. Uh, I was playing in the in the um, I was playing in the playoffs, and so I was in the final seconds. We were down by one, 
best player on the team, I think. Although he, I mean, he's not really the best player, but he's a good player. Um, his name is Garrett Temple. Now he's a good player on my team. He's not really that good of a player in like the real NBA. But um, yeah. So that's another reason the clutch moment. So there was 0.6 seconds left. I'm in the lane. They give me a clutch moment. There's no clutch button there. And then there is, they give you this for the, the tutorial. So, but usually there isn't a clutch button there. I mean, and, and then, so, there was 0.1 left. He still had the ball. He went for a finger roll with no time left. He still had the ball. He still had possession. And it was, and then I lost it. I got into the second straight time in the conference semifinals. But that's like the number one thing that they should change, the clutch moments. Now you guys can comment down below. Um, what you want to see, or what you thought, or what you think that I should have included in this video, and maybe make some changes at the list. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. I'm sorry about the camera angle, and about and right as I am perfect timing as I ended the game right there. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you all next time.